up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, elderly and young, dead and alive. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let's get right into this. This is the SAO UI mod. It's basically a replacement for the regular interface. So, like, you know, the crafting and all that. This replaces it. Um, so, basically, we're going to be looking at um, the Sword Art Online mod right here, 1.5. And, um, I'm just completely blown away by this mod. If you love Sword Art Online, you will love this mod. Um, I do have Optifine installed with it, but that is very difficult to do. So if you guys would like a tutorial for that, let me know in the comments and I will gladly do a tutorial for that because it took me some, uh, I had to figure it out on my own. The internet didn't, ah, internet didn't help me at all. Gosh. Okay. But let's get right into it. So I'm going to be on my server today and, oh. Wait, right here. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, welcome to my server. So, um, let's just go to spawn. So, I'm gonna do GMC. So, to begin this, we will, uh, look at the E button. So, in inventory creative mode this just regularly comes up and stuff and um, you know it, it works that way but if you go into GMS or game mode survival you will see that the health bar up at the top came up right up here and so um, now let's click E this comes up now you're wondering what this blue circle is it is the cursor basically and while you look around the character in the middle here watches at or watches the cursor and then it shows your inventory here so um if you watch over to the side over here you will see that when i press uh this it goes to leather and then this goes to meat and then the weapon goes back to the bow and arrow so down here you will see my uh xp level experience percent so this is like um you know on the bottom xp bar how far it is this is it mine's basically 88 percent full um health is 20 out of 20 strength agility resistance now all these numbers will increase and change as you like um, put on potions and you know eat like a golden apple stuff like that it will change so it's pretty cool that way um so let's just look at equipment real quick so um this entire thing moves over so then you can go to weapons and then it continues to move over so on bow um you can click this to equip it and unequip it and or vice versa you know and then you middle click it to look at the enchantments on it so this has infinity flame punch and power and then uh so it all your weapons will come up here sometimes like even an axe or a shovel it's not just really weapons it's honestly also tools because the tools can usually be used as weapons so i think they just kind of fit into that category and he didn't really want to make a different category category for it so uh then we'll go to equipped and so this is where your armor will appear so let me just um click out go gm gmc i was butchering that and then um i'm just gonna get some diamond armor in here i'll just go five oh, six and seven okay <clears throat> now uh gms so then you go back to equipment equipped and then you see all this, and I don't have anything equipped. So I'll click the diamond helmet, and then I equip it. And then chest plate, leggings, and boots. So now everything is equipped here, and then I just have to unequip it like that. Um, now, if you have a lot of different things, the way to scroll down is you can um, press and hold. So uh, you can press and hold, or you can use the scroll button, or the middle wheel, you know. Um, so that's pretty useful. I recommend doing the middle wheel usually because if you end up doing the click and drag, it kind of screws everything up and it makes you equip something that you didn't really want to equip. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, but that's just my recommendation. Um, so then accessories. That's just going to have your potions. Um, I think it's food. Let's see. Um, so these are custom sounds that sound a lot. <clears throat> Sorry a lot like the uh the show but um it i guess food doesn't show up this is a pork chocolate show up there but um they can't put the real sounds in because that would be copyright 
but you know. Um, and then so it'll have like these in here. It might have like emeralds. Um, just kind of miscellaneous things. So okay, there we go. Oh, and um, so as you can see here, it also has a cursor over your head. So um, green is for like animals or neutral animals. Um, and then red is for dangerous, so like zombies and spiders and stuff like that. I'm not sure about iron golems, um, mostly because they, they don't, they're, they're kind of neutral, honestly, and maybe like slimes, but I'm not completely sure, um, let's just see here. Let's just fly out here to where I can spawn it. Alright, uh, so we'll do mob iron. So yeah, it has a green. So, um, it is considered good, I guess. Until... So, I guess even after you shoot it. Oh yeah, so it also has that awesome sound. It's really cool. Okay, so the cursor doesn't change, that's interesting. That might have to be a bug fix. Um, but as you can see, they also have their own uh, health bar on the side, and I have my own health bar at the top. And so, um, you can click E, and go down to options here, click uh, option, and then you get all these options. So like you can engage and disengage the crosshair, the health bar, um, smooth health, so that's like how fast it goes down, if it goes down like really smooth or if it just jumps down to where, how much percent you have left. Um, the particles for like when an animal dies, um, cursor movement, I think that's this, yeah. So cursor movement doesn't let you move the cursor. And honestly, it kind of gives you a headache after looking at it for a while, but you know, you just kind of get used to it, I guess. Um, so then sound effects and can log out. So if I disengage that, then I go here and I can't log out. But if I engage it, then I can log out, but I don't want to log out right now, so. Um, and then you can just click options to go to your regular options, and then, um, you can go back, and then, uh, help. This goes to this menu right here, where you can disconnect manually and stuff like that. Um, and then, let's go to, so, alright, so then the next menu option, oh, by the way, so, um, instead of just clicking E over and over and not having to unclick this, you can click escape, and it brings down the same thing, just regularly like this. So, um, then you have your map, and so then you can go quest, and this shows you, like, all the regular quests, and sometimes it'll have, like, its own quests. Um, so, like, I think Sniper Duel, I don't think that's a regular Minecraft one, but I'm not completely sure, because as you can see, it is in a different color. I'm not just sure if it gives you more XP, or if it is just, like, a quest with the mod, but I don't know, I'll have to look into that. Uh, so then Field Map, this shows you, um, this shows you the uh, above ground, and then Dungeon shows you underground cave systems in a way. It kind of shows you where there's emptiness, but it doesn't show you how low or if there are any entities and stuff like that. Um, but it does say, like, um, so floor one, and then it gives you coordinates and stuff like that. Um, so then messaging. This is yet to be developed. It used to work, I think, but um, you can't really message people that only have the mod anymore. That's to <clears throat> be developed and fixed, but that is something that I definitely really look forward to. And then um, this is like guild parties, so like party create. You can create a party with someone who um, has the mod, and then you can click um, friend, and you can friend someone. Um, but it only works within like a certain um, vicinity, so like if you're... Uh, thousand meters away from them it probably won't work but if you're sitting right next to them it should work um and then it can also tell you this and just kind of gives you this right here because you know it's kind of empty just having it that way but um so then you can come back here and you can see all this and um then you can go to items so items is going to show you every single thing that is in your inventory so um just like even the diamond helmet that i already have equipped i can unequip and equip again um but i actually it actually goes into my inventory so um as you can see i'm holding it right now so in order to take that off i'd have to find it or not find it 
That's odd. Uh, I think that's a glitch. Or maybe it just doesn't want to go in there because... I wonder if I got rid of it. So, um, if you want to go to your regular inventory, you can click skills and go to crafting. So, yeah, it got rid of it. So, to get rid of an item, you have to right click. So, I guess that was delayed. But, um, so, like, uh, go to items and then I right click like this and it throws it out. So, that throws out an item. Um, and then skills. So, like, uh, I'm not sure if these are working at the moment. I know that it works like this. Oh, okay. So, they did fix it. Um, it used to not work, but I guess it, it, it works now, so then I can, like, take off sneaking, going sprinting, run. So, this is honestly kind of good for PvP, too, because, um, in a way, I mean, you get this, but you can also get it with a different mod. Um, but it's just kind of in this mod at the same time, and that's pretty cool. Um, so, then, uh, so, like, I just heard that sound and saw the, uh, monster dissolve even when I'm far away, but I think there's a certain radius, as you heard, that it was, like, kind of silent. Wow, my bow snakes are off. So, yeah, you can hear that it was quieter, but if I go, like, um... If I'm right next to that, then it's louder. So, I think that's really cool that they kind of built it in that way. But... I think that is going to wrap it up is that you just have this and I mean it is difficult for PvP because if you need to switch in a fast manner you can either go in here and switch or you would have to go to skills crafting and then sort your inventory here for like hunger games stuff like that um but I mean it you can still have the mod on and change it so you can just go here and then, like, um, oh, by the way, when you die, there's a different, um, death thing. It's like the, the show, so I will show you guys that. But, like, you can go default inventory, and then you click E, and it just comes up like this. So you can honestly switch this up just for PvP. I think that is extremely cool. It's just a switch fast. It's really s simplistic, honestly. And so, I mean, it just works. I think it works, and it is a really good design. I really enjoyed this mod, and I think that... I would support this mod 100% give a ton of time into this if I could just get it a little bit more developed in certain areas for like instance the guilds and the messaging but as far as it, co it has come since 1.0 I am just astounded and I give kudos to the creator um, he's just done a great job with this unfortunately I read on the post when I downloaded this that he is stopping development so I'm really upset about that but I think that he did a great job and whoever takes it over I think they will have a lot to um, how do I say this basically they're gonna have to do a lot of great things for this mod in order to match the original creators marksmanship or like you know uh, not marksmanship because that's archery but you know their craftsmanship there we go uh, so, I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys will enjoy this. The link is in the description to get this. And uh, leave a comment if you want me to make the tutorial for Forge, Optifine, and this to get to work so that you can have regular FPS or um, such. If you don't use this mod, your FPS will probably go up by about 30 or so, at least if you have like a beast computer like mine. But, um,. You know, it, it all just depends on the computer and how much memory you allocate. And I mean, there are a ton of variables that go into it, but completely worth it, in my opinion. I would use this mod so much, and I was waiting for it to update to 1.8. I'm just super excited, and I wanted to make a video for you guys. And so I uh, just thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys later. Remember, the link is in the description. Go check him out and um, just kind of, you know, say kudos or a great job on the mod. You know, just give him some support because he absolutely deserves it for all the work that he's done. Um, and it, it just, it, it astounds me and I am extremely grateful for this mod because I just, I've been looking for something like this and he gave it to me. So I'm very happy and very thankful.
So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and want to see more mod reviews. Thanks, and see you. Hey guys, so uh, I forgot to show you guys the DAT. So, um, basically, this mod also allows you to get this really cool death, um, it, it's like a, a, it's basically like the show, um, so, or, yeah, so, basically, um, I'm just gonna do slash kill, and that did not work, I need to, this is my alt account, by the way, and I'm filming this after I actually filmed the actual mod review, because I forgot to do this part, but, uh, here's this, so, and so that comes up um, so it just says that you're dead and then if you like <clears throat> if you get like this color right here it means your cursor is clicked on it so when you click this you'll log out so you don't want to click on that you kind of want to click off to the side in order to respawn but like if I do it again and I click on it it logs me out so, uh, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this mod review, and remember to leave a like down below, and tell me what you think, and, yeah, thank you guys, see you later.